I'm Kathy from Kathy's Truckle Club. It's fabulous fun Friday again, again, again. Here we are on location at Wilder's Farms, a Mongolian yurt. Wow! Come on inside. Let's check it out. Oh, you gotta bless yourself first. No, your feet or something. Okay, just say something nice. Nice. Wow, here we are inside. I'm talking quiet because it feels like you should be a little bit more respectful inside a Mongolian yurt. I'm not sure why. It's built for winter, and it's built for summer. It can accommodate 75 people sitting. They'd be a little squished. Or maybe 30 or 40 people doing yoga on the ground. Can you imagine what a place? It's, um, yeah, it's the Mongolian yurts are where from, from Mongolia, of course, and they're also called Gares, and it's where the nomadic people of Mongolia would live. So they are sort of portable, <laughs> but that they're waterproof, weather resistant, and they last for decades. What a great invention. They're, they're, they're airflow, you can put a little wood-burning stove. Oh, the architecture is amazing, and each of the beams is hand-painted. Can you imagine? right from Mongolia. Oh, come on, let's continue the tour. Follow me. Who's the This is the cold storage. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture as well. Yeah. It'll look better when I fill it up in the fall. I'm going to take better pictures then. And anyways, it has a vent in the top and a vent in the bottom. So. Oh, okay. It goes quite a bit that way. This is my recycled pallet storage. Yeah. Yeah. Kathy's Chuckle Club. Club. <laughs> I'm Kathy from Kathy's Chuckle Club. Here we are on location at Wild Earth Farms. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest property ever! <laughs> oh, uh, see that little froggy frog? Want to see him jump? Do 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 do. How close can I go? Let's see. Yoop. Oh. <laughs> this is a spring-fed pond that you could go swimming. Let's do a swimming activity. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, Fred Cole! <laughs> Breast stroke. Yoop! Breast stroke! Side stroke. Fancy diving too. What about the old back stroke? <laughs> Yoopy doopy! Woo! Woo! Mmm, lavender. Yum! Ooh, so pretty! Love it with you, love it with you. <laughs> 
Here we are. Oh my gosh, this property is so beautiful. 16 acres. There's a hoop house. There's a, a glamping school bus. There's a trailer that's being fixed up. There's a little bunkie. There's so many places to stay on this beautiful property. There's the lavender garden. There's the pond, the yurt, and this orchard. So let's do uh, a fruit picking exercise. You ready? So I think these are plums. I'm not sure. Let's pretend that they're plums. Here we go. You ready to pick some plums? <laughs> Play along. Reach up and pull down. Reach up and plop it in your bucket. Basket. Plop. 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 Pick. Plop. Pick. Plop. Pick. Plop. Plick. Plop. <laughs> My basket is full of plums. Yum. <laughs> oh, I just threw them all over the floor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Plums. Yay! Oh my gosh, what a great day. It's raining! Raining, raining, watering the plum trees. Yep. exercise. Here we go. Activity. Here we go. Look at all the fruits. Yum! Tomatoes. Are they fruits or vegetables? Hmm. Pickety pick pick pick. Yum yum yum. Putting them in your salad. Yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. You know that the uh, the yellow tomatoes are less acidic than the red ones. Hmm. Just a little tidbit for you. Ha! Woo! Wow wow wow. It's a hundred percent humidity folks. Yes. I'm melting. <laughs> That's another episode, Fun Fab Friday. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you then. <laughs> Fresh tomato plucked from the vine. Um. Mm.